Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's move some objects. Okay, so there is not a real standard way for us to do this. There's, it's a little bit complicated, but I'm gonna try to get just get the gist of it, just the general idea of it, and then we'll move on from there, okay? So in this application, I'm just gonna have the flutter and it's gonna move downwards. Um, my computer again is a little slow, so it looks kind of jerky. It's not supposed to be that way. At least I don't think so, but but that's what happens, okay? So I'm getting it, and it's moving down. Why is it starting right there? Well, because I'm being lazy. I'm still keeping some of the same old stuff. So right here, I have the scaffold, the center, the container. So because I have all of these it, widgets still originally, it's going to start right in the very center. All right, so um, we, what we can do is make it and move it from there on. It's going to start from here and down to here. It's really not different from the last video. So the last video, we had all of this the same, not really changing a whole lot. Um, there's only one other thing um, I, I did not put in the previous one. It's void dispose. I'm not sure if this thing, where this thing actually gets triggered and how it actually um, uh, activates it, it itself. Because, but, but what you're supposed to do is have this here so it actually disposes of the um uh animation controller it, itself so by stopping it the reason why you want to stop it well or dispose of it specifically is to get rid of the memory leaks so if you don't dispose it even though it's done even though it's completed it still stays in the memory that state of being completed okay um what i'm going to do right here so what i'm going to do is i'm still going to have a container in this animator state widget um, it's, and it's going to be, I'm going to put a baseline. You could put a number of different things, but I'm going to put baseline. And what baseline does is that it, in your container, the baseline is your, uh, the child widget in there with respect to the edges of the container. Okay, so um, text baseline dot, it's either ideographic or it's going to be alphabetic. I honestly can't see the difference between the two. But basically, but the baseline value, when you have the value at 0.0, .0 it starts at the center, and then it moves down according to where you are with respect to the container itself. All right. Flutter size, I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. And by moving that, we can see the same concept. We're having the tween. We're moving from 0.0, .0 up to 600.0. We're, we're increasing the number in over two second or 2000 millisecond time span. And we're changing the value of the positioning inside of here. So we're changing the value of the position from here all the way down inside of here. Okay, so that's the way in which, one way in which you can move objects. So of course, there's different ways to do it, right? If you wanna move it back and forth, you might have um, padding, you may have margins, you may have, those are the things that you can actually change the values in order to make things move around. And we'll have to just keep that in mind, okay? So that's the simple, straightforward moving of objects animation in and of itself. Um, there is another one where you could twist it around. I can't remember what it was. I didn't find it particularly helpful or anything like that. So I'm going to leave it out. I'm just going to move on. All right. Thanks.